SPM, Form 5, Physics. Chapter 2, Electricity. In this video, we will summarize the expected learning outcomes of Chapter 2, Electricity in the form of concept map. In this chapter, we will learn and understand more about electricity and how it works. There are five main sections in this chapter. 2.1, Electric Fields and Charge Flow. 2.2, Relationship Between Electric Current and Potential Difference. 2.3, Series and Parallel Circuits. 2.4, Electromotive Force and Internal Resistance. 2.5, Electrical Energy and Power. In section 2.1, we will learn about electric fields and charge flow. At the end of this section, you should be able to state the relationship between electron flow and electric current, and define electric current, describe an electric field, sketch electric field lines, showing the direction of the field, describe the effect of an electric field on a charge, solve problems involving electric charge and current. In section 2.2, we will learn about the relationship between electric current and potential difference. At the end of this section, you should be able to define potential difference, plan and conduct an experiment to find the relationship between current and potential difference. Describe the relationship between current and potential difference. State Ohm law. Define resistance. Explain factors that affect resistance. Solve problems involving potential difference, current and resistance. Describe superconductors. In section 2.3, we will learn about series and parallel circuit. At the end of this section, you should be able to identify series and parallel circuits, compare the current and potential difference of series circuits and parallel circuits. Determine the effective resistance of resistors connected in series. Determine the effective resistance of resistors connected in parallel. Solve problems involving current, potential difference, and resistance in series circuits, parallel circuits and their combinations. In section 2.4, we will learn about electromotive force and internal resistance. At the end of this section, you should be able to define electromotive force EMF, compare EMF and potential difference, explain internal resistance, determine EMF and internal resistance, solve problems involving EMF and internal resistance. At the end of this chapter, section 2.5, we will learn about electrical energy and power. At the end of this section, you should be able to define electrical energy, define electric power, and solve problems involving electrical energy and power. Compare power rating and energy consumption of various electrical appliances. Compare various electrical appliances in terms of efficient use of energy and describe ways of increasing energy efficiency. Thank you for taking the time to watch this.